Hi, I'm Phil. Welcome to Holy Habitus. Back in the Sermon on the Mount this week, Matthew 5, verse 31 to 32, Jesus' teaching on marriage and divorce. The sister passage to this is Matthew 19, 1 to 12. You might want to delve into that where Jesus goes into more depth. But here in Matthew 5, he says these words. It has been said, i.e. in the law of Moses, anyone who divorces his wife must give her a certificate of divorce. But I say to you, anyone who divorces his wife, except for marital unfaithfulness, causes her to become an adulteress. And anyone who marries a divorced woman commits adultery. This is really strong, ouch teaching from Jesus. And we'd be tempted to sidestep this and say it doesn't connect with the pastoral complexity of an issue in our society which is widespread. 42% of marriages in England and Wales end in divorce. And maybe you know people who've been through divorce, maybe you've been through divorce, and you say, that's too reductionist, too simplistic, too black and white. It sounds too judgmental in the context. And, and of course, there is always grace and forgiveness in God for people who've been through that circumstance and uh, find themselves stuck in that situation. But perhaps the reason, the fact that divorce is so prevalent in our society means we need to take that teaching to heart. We're in a runaway train situation, and Jesus needs to turn us round we need to reclaim marriage as an institution. Culturally, we've been drip-fed this notion by Jane Austen and chick flicks and rom-coms that marriage is all about happily ever after and true love and uh, feeling intoxicated all the time. And, and that can be quite harmful because a few years down the line in marriage, you realise it's not like that. It's not all a bed of ro roses. It involves some hard work. And we can sometimes run away from it. Now, Jesus does give an exception, doesn't he? Except for marital unfaithfulness. And there are circumstances such as um, severe infidelity, sexual unfaithfulness, consistent deceitfulness, which erode trust to such an extent that marriage becomes unsalvageable. But often, Jesus in Matthew 19 says that the concession that Moses gave for, for divorce is due to the hard-heartedness of people. Sometimes we, we can start a process of the hardening of our hearts and a marriage that is salvageable becomes unsalvageable because of our own willful decisions. We're slightly discontent, so we start to accrue justifications for walking away from it. We start to sabotage the relationship because it's just too much hard work. Jesus wants to counter that and say, no, marriage is something worth fighting for, and divorce should be a last port of call, if at all. So the challenge this week is if you're married, think about how you can invest in your marriage this week. If you're not married and you've been divorced, maybe you to seek God's grace and healing. And if you're single, pray for your friends who are married that they might hold the course. And let's all seek to uphold and strengthen the institution of marriage in our culture.